Hey Tim, this is Jeremy with Torio Digital Marketing with the uh, the video that we promised you, uh, showing what we do and how we do it to uh, help you gain some more customers online. Um, I'm going to talk about three things in this video, and I don't want to waste your time or mine. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, first thing is I've actually like never even heard of this underfloor heating, so that like that's that's actually kind of amazing to me. Um, and but you know. People, if people don't know about it, how are they gonna? How are they gonna contact you? You know what I'm saying? So let's see what we got here. So I got your site pulled up here, um, and the first thing we're gonna talk about is content. Okay, so content is basically how much text you have on your site. Um, <clears throat> what Google likes to see is about 1,500 to 2,000 words, and you just got a couple sentences there. Wow, you you probably got less less than three hundred words on your entire homepage here. Um, that's that doesn't look good for Google Metrics, okay? Um, so I would definitely uh, like look into beefing that up with some authoritative content, a um, little bit more information about the the products and the service, um, and, and and keyword rich. Um, finding keywords for your for your specific product may be a little difficult. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not something that can't be done. So um, next thing I did, since since you're in the industry, but you're kind of a uh, like the new tech, the new generation of the industry. So I looked up Indianapolis HVAC just to see where you rank in there. Um, and first thing Google's going to show you is the ads, of course, uh, which 70% of people don't even click these. They've had bad experiences. Um, then they're going to show uh, the map pack, which is the local listings. Okay. Um, and one thing I want to I want to look at real quick, um, just to show you, is how many HVAC contractors are even in the map. Well, it looks like there's like over 200 in Indianapolis. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> um, in some some of the areas and some of the niches we work in, you know, we'll see like maybe 20 on there. So, um, but after the map pack, then you're going to see the organic listings. Okay. So each one of these is specific criteria to get them to get them higher ranking. One of those things is content on both of these. OK, um, but this one right here is the strength of your citations, which is like a phone book listing uh, on different directories on the, around the Web. Uh, you know, think yellow pages. Um, and this one right here is actual links coming back to your site, uh, which are called backlinks in the industry. OK. So, but the, the content and the strength of your site kind of go hand in hand for both of them, okay? So if you want to get yourself up on uh, up higher on here, um, you, you want to get more, more directory listings, okay? Um, with your name and phone number in it. And if you want to get here, you want to get more links coming back to your site. So let's kind of see where you stand in those areas real quick. So, well, first, let's go ahead and take a look at your competitor site here, Chapman. Um, they have a little bit more, quite a bit more content than you, but they still don't have the 1,500 to 2,000 words. Okay. Um, so they should be fairly easy to beat in that, at least in the content regard. Um, so let's look at some of your on-site. Uh, oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, your on-site SEO. You got a made a description, which is good, but I'm not really... I see under four radiant heating products. Um, it, I don't, I'm not sure if that's a keyword for you guys or not, to be honest. Um, so, but you want your meta description to have a couple keywords in it. Um, and you have two backlinks coming to your home page. This is this right here is why not a lot of people are finding you. Okay. Um, unless you're getting, you're probably getting a lot of word of mouth and stuff, but like on the web, nobody's finding you. So let's look at your competitor here. Look how many backlinks they have. 633. Okay. Now, not all backlinks are created the same. You, you want backlinks from reputable sources. Okay. So let's take a look here at another tool that I use called AREFs. Now, this is basically, they just buy, buy uh, information from Google. So this is you right here. 
Now this says you have 204 backlinks. Uh, this is a little bit different. Like each, each tool says something a little bit different. Um, that's quite a big difference though than what the uh, SEO Quick just said. However, um, what, what I'm a little concerned about is this right here. You're only getting 11 people a month uh, coming to your site, okay? And your URL rating is 11, your domain rating is 3.4. This 3.4 is fairly low. Um, that's what you, you want to raise that up, okay? Um, and that's by getting uh, more and higher quality backlinks. I see something happened here where a whole bunch of your referring domains just dropped off. I don't know what happened there, but uh, maybe you can tell me when we, when we have a conversation. Um, so let's look at your competitor here. Look how many people they're getting to their site, 726. Do you think some of them people might, uh, might be considering, uh, you know, under the floor heating um, like you guys offer? Um, honestly, I, like I said, I'd never even really heard of it. I would have just gone, I would have probably gone to somebody like Chapman if I was looking for uh, some kind of heating repair or something. Um, but then if your site's popping up everywhere as the top result and be like, Ooh, what is this? You know? So, well, that's, uh, so that's your three, your three, uh, pieces of, uh, information here. You got content, um, backlinks, uh, get people linking to your site, um, and directory listings or citations. Um, hopefully you got some value from this video. Um, if you need any help with this, if you want to start seeing some of those 726 coming to you, uh, give us a call at 317-961-3757. Have a great day.